Breaking news update tonight, an armed man shot tonight by police in Whitefish Bay. It was a domestic disturbance. Our Julia fell alive near the scene tonight. Julia? Steve and Carol, as you can see behind me, there is still a web of tape more than four hours later. This officer involved shooting happened within a cluster of homes just before six tonight. Neighbors could hear a commotion before police arrived and walked out smelling gunpowder in the air. I heard some screaming. It seemed to come from, you know, some distance away. I heard three pops, pop, 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 right in a row. Those were gunshots coming from the home of a family who had just called Whitefish Bay Police minutes before about a trouble complaint with their 39-year-old son. I uh, met with an individual with multiple knives. Uh, my officer shot at the individual, striking the man. He went down. The Flight for Life helicopter landed, and the 39-year-old was conscious and breathing as he was transported to Freighter Hospital. District Attorney John Chisholm was on scene, as well as the Milwaukee police. Now the outside agency investigating this officer-involved shooting. It puts a lot into perspective for this neighbor. It makes you think what people go through every day in their neighborhoods that, that where shootings occur, and, and it really brings home what a tragedy something like this is. You know, and so my heart goes out to that family. The officer who fired the shots is now on administrative leave. We do not know any information on the suspect yet or his condition tonight at Freighter Hospital. Reporting live in Whitefish Bay, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. And we'll wait for some answers, Julia. Thanks.